People have found that membraneless organelles are very important in biology, these liquid liquid phase separated droplets. When we normally think about droplets, what we think about is maybe like vinaigrette, you have some oil droplets in water, water droplets in oil, and when two of them are next to each other, they do coalesce pretty easily. And if you want to break them up, you just put some energy into the system and you have to increase the amount of surface area when you break up one of these droplets. Mm. There are macromolecules that like condensing into droplets. In our cells, peptides can do that quite easily and regulate RNA expression or something. Membranes are like super weird because they delineate like a droplet sized space, but they're actually like a 2D surface. And so when people think about membranes, all those like topological changes start to become non-trivial. You think about a 2D sheet that's curved up on itself. If it meets another one, how do they fuse with each other? You have to create defects in both those sheets. And the defects have to merge in a way that's energetically favorable for them to then form one giant 2D sheet. We have these different ways of creating compartments. They have their different strengths and weaknesses. What really enables complexity to be built up is I think having this multiple different ways to create compartments that don't really interfere with each other.